and it looks like we're live. How's it going? I'm James Beck. I uh, tonight I'm gonna be working on a little bit of a uh, little bit of a drawing idea I have. Um, actually stole a picture off of a buddy's Instagram. Um, cause I really wanna see if I can crack down this uh this portrait in a minimal amount of time. Uh, I'm gonna right now go ahead and actually set a timer for two hours so we'll know that that's how long I've been on and also because I want to try and beat that time uh, <clears throat> with trying to feel accomplished with this painting um, of possibly finished you know, I want to call myself a professional artist. I should probably put forth that effort. So, to uh, let's get going here. It is 8.52 General Mountain Time here in the lovely state of Wyoming. Uh, let's get going. So, I have just a, a real rough, just kind of underdrawing. Um, basically, just some guidelines to help me. Uh, work out my proportions a little quicker than I did before I get started. Um, the real kicker is going to be getting this pooch to not have actual black. And probably the idea of Trying to draw with something that's not, or I shouldn't say draw, I should say paint, because today we are painting, uh, paint with something that's a little more brush-like. Um, this is a brush that I took that I had, um, see here and originally I want to say was this number 63 here which was a nope it's not that one it it is set as the watercolor loaded wet flat tip now I took this brush and modified it a little bit tried to make it a little more my own uh, to the liking of what I thought I uh, wanted to get out of it and let's see how it looks coming down on the page. Trying to just block in here. Need to make sure my opacity is on full. Am I running a multiply? Oh, duh. Need to come in. Turn off my transfer. Because the only thing I want is shape dynamics. Actually, probably bring my, uh, my minimal diameter down just a little bit, too. I really just love this picture of uh, this guy's dog. It's a guy I went to high school with, and this is actually off of his Instagram. Um, I don't want to give away who it is, just in case there's a chance he might be out there watching me in TV land. See if he can figure out that it's uh, his dog that I'm actually uh, working on a painting of. Um, 
I just love the the way that a lot of this color and whatnot uh, showed up. Um, I've been wanting to work on some pet portraits, and uh, this just kind of hit the spot to inspire me to want to uh, get that going. Um, one thing that I definitely know I'm going to struggle with just a bit is getting getting this dog's proportions proper uh, like I said I'm not trying to take a hundred years to do this thing see as see if I can get as far as possible within about um, about two hours Okay, sorry, let's get back to it. I just want to uh, throw out there that I was doing a little streaming, so that way if anybody does uh, happen to catch it on my Facebook, they can come in and say hi, and yeah, uh, love to hear from people. Uh, the live chat is available if you're watching at home on a computer. Um, if not, comments won't be available until after the video is done for anybody who might be trying to watch this on a mobile device. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just working on uh, blocking out some of the darker color here. I'm not actually using a true black. Uh, it's got a bit of a purple hue into it. Um, but once once I start working in other colors, you really won't be able to tell the difference. Like um, it's going to stand out as being such a dark, rich color. I might actually take a true black uh, once I'm finished, go in and throw just a bit of uh, some, some black into some of the deepest parts just to make them uh, stand out. Let's get this here. This is the shoulder here. Let's actually move back up to a little bit bigger brush. Um. If anybody's wondering, the size of my work platform at the moment is going to be um, 11 by 14 is the image size that I'm working with. And that being said, uh, it's also a 300 DPI resolution. So that way it's um, a heavy enough resolution for printing without getting too big and actually uh, causing a lot of uh, lag issues because I am running a little older computer. I know some digital artists have started to actually work in more of the 700 uh, DPI range. 
Um, but most of them still work in just a 300. Because uh, 300, you should be able to take this thing and still blow it up beyond its, uh, beyond its size without uh, significant pixelation. Now, one of the hardest parts about black labs is just the fact that that's exactly it. They're black, and uh, you do get a lot of white highlight. Some labs tend to have even just a, a bit of white hair in their, uh, in their coat. I guess you'd call it fur, because dogs, most dogs don't actually have fur. It's uh, fur, even though we tend to refer to it as dog, uh, dog hair, cat hair, um, so, working this here, I think I actually need to go back in, turn this transfer back on, uh, nope, do not need that, is that in the shape dynamics, should be a directional thing, right, Let's see if I'm getting it here. Yep, just need to uh, get that minimum size reduced. There we go. Um, my pressure is set up to where it's just heavy enough. Uh, when I... Now, his nose here is definitely not black. I just want to line it out. It's got a bit more of a brownish and a grayish tone to it, but just to have a, that little bit of extra that grounds where I need to be with my painting, and then his center line comes down here, separates those out, get this going in here, like so. Those kind of curves down like this. Come up here. Okay, now let's take this color. Let's switch it over to a blue actually and lighten things up. And then we'll come in. Let's throw some more, uh, throw a little more color in. Let's get this guy down in here. Get some of this like so off the tips of his ears like so it's actually gonna have a tad bit of white coming off that area and bring this up just a little more come up in here Get this guy ruffled up right in this area. There's a little splotchiness of black that I somehow managed to miss, but I will uh, go back and work with that here in a sec. Um, get a little more of this up in here. Uh, have the shape here. This guy right in this area. Uh, anybody have any questions? If I have any viewers, I don't know if I do have any viewers, but uh, looks like somebody's watching. Um, I do know a friend of mine told me, "Hey man, you need to get your microphone turned up because he could barely hear me." And so I did turn my volume up. Whoever's watching me, if you can tell me uh, 
whether or not my volume is good. Um, you know, the live chat is available. Or if you want to say hi, please feel free. Say hi. I'd love to talk to somebody. Um, but if you are on mobile device, um, might be kind of hard to say hi. So, uh, no worries there. So one thing's for sure, I'm not going to guarantee quality of this work, because as much as I like to think I'm a decent artist, half the time I come out pretty undersatisfied with what I got going on. I don't know if it's just me, or if that's just the way a lot of people tend to feel about their own stuff, but that being said, uh... We'll see where it goes, you know. I mean, maybe it'll end up being a great looking painting and uh, give me some commission work. Should be awesome. Definitely would not complain about that. Uh, <clears throat> Ooh, I got three viewers now. What's up, everybody? Um, thanks for tuning in. If you get the opportunity and are on live chat, Please feel free to say hi. Uh, all right, let's switch back to this guy because I need to come in here and come up in here a little bit. And get just a little bit of oh, oops. A little bit of that tuft in there. I don't know how I feel about that. We'll see. Tighten that up. Um if any of y'all are wondering what I'm doing. I found a, uh, a dog portrait um, that a buddy of mine off of Instagram had posted of his dog and I just liked it so much that I had to uh, I told myself I had to paint it. Um, be a great way to practice, surprise him with a nice piece of artwork maybe and uh, yeah. Do a little painting for y'all out in the YouTube world. this up just a little bit <sighs> pardon me if you see me take a break for a sec I do have some uh, some pinched nerves issue from now and then in my hands um, if any of you guys who are watching actually know me Remy, no one's here, bro. 
Just somebody driving up the street. Nobody's here. Go lay down, please. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, dog thought he heard somebody. Just happened to be a passerby. Shush. Um. All right, getting in quite a bit of these grayed out. Now, what I've done here is actually try to just focus on what I would consider local color uh, of these areas. Um, you know, and then I'll start to go in and feather them together a little bit before I actually uh, commit to detail, just so that way they uh, stick out. I'm sorry, not so they stick out, but so that way when I actually start to put detail in, um, they'll be fairly nicely blended. Um, just having a tough time here trying to uh, judge this distance right here. So I think it needs to, I mean, it doesn't need to be exact. But the closer you can get things to actually being right, uh, the more believable it is, especially when you're trying to think in terms of a dog. Mm. Let's switch over to our next color. We'll get this collar going. Looks like it's got a bit of a yellowish. Uh, yellowish color to it so we'll get that there it's gonna be up in here a little bit like so then come up in here it's gonna come kind of more at this angle I think that should be it right about there <clears throat> and Sorry to y'all if uh, you can't hear me. Um, just mumbling to myself, not really saying anything very important to what I'm doing. Get that collar going. We got this guy here. Come down across this lip here. Come up in here. And then this area is pretty blacked out. Uh, looks like. And then jump over to this color. Get some of this tone coming off like this jumps down into this area like this let's go a little bit down in here in this tuft and right up does that feel right does that feel right it feels a little not quite long enough. So sometimes I make mistakes. I'm going to actually bring this collar a little further down, a little more like this guy here. Let's bring it across this curve. Where then I'll actually have this tuft fur from the neck that comes out right like this covering up most of that collar actually now that I think about it there's just a little down in here and then we get busy with some of the lighter color get it in this guy like so got it across the bottom of the chin uh, 
Yeah. Uh, next color. And we're going to be looking at... You guys ever looked at the color grapes? Kind of have that brownish... Brownish, reddish tint to them. Not so much, just straight black. That's that's a lot of what I'm seeing here in the nose. There are some darks to it, but all in all, it's going to be mostly this with a major amount of highlight because of the orange or the uh, probably the wetness of the nose. You know, I mean, a lot of my a lot of my icons who are comic book artists. <clears throat> they'll sit there and they'll be able to describe every little detail to you about what their drawing is and how it should look because of what the body mechanics are doing um, and a lot of them won't know exactly what they're talking about as far as muscle groups or things uh, but paying attention to that level of detail is probably what interested me in comic art for the longest time um and really helped me develop my drawing skills as a young inspiring artist coming up on the better half of 40 or close to 40 I should say I still consider myself to be a young inspiring artist yeah uh, the young part's starting to fall out the window pretty quick. Uh, but the inspiration is still there. That's that's for sure. Get some of that kind of up in there. Um, and now we get a little bit more of a... Uh, let's see here. We want... Yeah, I'm seeing more blue. Maybe kind of like right around here. Get that nice, nice big old shiny wet nose. Kind of a bit of a diamond shape. Um, the front of the nose. The way the light bounces and get just a little bit of it right down in this area, some of it right in this area. Sorry guys, got a text real quick. Just uh Give me two seconds. Um one other thing uh, that I'm looking forward to with this portrait is just uh, trying to explore uh, color variation and things like that. Um, a lot of what I'm doing is not exactly a lot of what I'm doing is not exactly uh, picture perfect. Um, I'm just kind of going for colors that I see. Uh, they may not be perfectly accurate. Uh, however, I do feel like the piece that I'm going to uh, come up with in the end is really going to be uh, is really going to be a finished product that I'm going to be uh, pretty uh, pretty proud of.
All right. Let's actually try and turn these phones off for now, huh? Uh, some of this nose here needs to actually start to work on some of these shapes, sharpen them up. Um, one last color I do need to look at is probably the uh, the eyes here. They got a bit of a brownish orange in them. So just going to take and get just kind of a rough fill in here of where I think they should be. Uh, don't, don't need to be perfect by any means. In fact, let's just give these guys a little high or a little uh, little pupil action. Come on. Sorry guys, my uh my drawing is lagging just a little bit and it's um messing with me. There. Got them eyes started. Lovely, aren't they? Uh let me see something here. I gotta see if I can uh, fix something real quick because all this stuff is not working for me. Hey, what's up, Marcado? Thanks for uh, stopping by and checking out me paint. Um, hope you're enjoying what you're seeing. Uh, I know it don't look like much now, but if you uh, don't want to stick around, maybe try and stop back by a little later and you can see the progress that I'm making. Let's see here what is what it is that I'm trying to do here there we go Oh, don't have anything there. Just a few of those there. Get rid of those real quick. Yep. I think maybe this streaming's just lagging me down a little bit. And if that's the case, I might just have to stop this video, do the painting. Uh, record it because it doesn't eat up that kind of memory recording and then uh, just post the video later uh, so I'll keep painting here for a little bit see how it goes if it works out I'll, I'll continue to paint with the live video if not like I said I'm just going to uh, stop the video uh, I'll record um, what I continue to do and post that here a little bit later um, so once I kind of got this idea going, I'm going to actually create another layer, zoom in here a little bit, so that way I can focus on some of the uh, some of the more finite details, just roughing in shapes um, before I blend what I need to and move on to other details. Uh, one of the main things I'm noticing here is the shape of the nose is off quite a bit. Need to actually thin it up some. So I'm going to grab here, widen, bring this guy in some more. Uh, yeah, kind of like that. Grab this color here, 
come in right here because there is some darkness around the nose uh, that I need to account for. Let's see if I feel like this is lining up all right. I'm trying to judge my distances here on where I think the nostril actually will start by comparing it to where the center line of the nose is and I think I got a better idea right now than I had initially um, doggy's nose kinda have this, this little line that runs around their nostril um, right here except for theirs is uh, actually exposed kinda wetness part of their nose uh, I feel good about that grab some of this here come in and sharpen this up just a hair more thin this down get this right here Come in up here. Grab this brown. Walk the nose across. Bumps up just a hair right there. Comes out. down around grab this color and it down and just so you guys know um I can't remember if I mentioned or not I did uh, create a new layer for when I'm uh, making this adjustments on top just in case if I if I screw something up bad enough and don't like the direction I'm heading in um, it's a lot easier to uh, just redo one layer than it is to uh, redo a bunch of layers that should be separated uh, however are kind of grouped as a single layer um, need to come in come in and cut this shape right here Getting right about here, maybe something like that. Uh, it looks like this shape actually will come a bit more like so. Ah, oh, no, I see. I am not coming down far enough. This actually needs to come down a little bit more like that. This area here kind of comes a bit more here like that. And then this side, get a little bit of that kind of swiftiness to it. The angle is definitely right there. Yep, get this color back, get the center line figured out, and then this nostril should be slightly down from where I had it. Cut this curve in right about here. And it'll actually just be like this. of this highlight up in here come up come up this ridge like so and 
that up. Right. Does that feel right? Part of me, part of me feels like the nostrils just way too big, but I, I want to say it's correct. Get this guy. Fix this spot here. There we go. Now, the professional side of me is saying, hey, quit focusing on details. Get back to just blocking out the basics. But the amateur part of me is still wanting to uh, try and make sure that those shapes are, are proper. And those are some of the things that I deal with day to day. Not a big deal. Just trying to fight myself between doing what's right and doing what I want. And of course, the more that you practice doing the proper thing, the better you will get at doing the proper thing. See, this eye kind of comes up a little bit and hooks down nicely. And this black is like this. Now, following a, uh, the advice of an artist that I um, watch a little bit, his name is Aaron Blaze. He is a uh, former Disney director slash animator uh, worked for Disney Animation for almost 30 years I think he says um, but I really uh, I really admire the things that he does um, and I think it helps uh, me just listening to the things he says um, Gets me on the right path with a couple things. One, sitting here worrying about details instead of blocking out, uh, blocking stuff out until I work down to the details. One of the hardest things I've started to notice for me with animals is so used to trying to do human proportion that uh, those fundamentals do not work with animals not by any means uh, like for example when you're drawing a human one of the easiest ways to acknowledge the distance between eyes is basically one one eye uh, in between them and I can credit that piece of advice to one Mr. Todd McFarlane, uh, one of the greatest comic legends to uh, exist. I'm sure everybody out there watching this has heard of uh, McFarlane Toys. At one point I do remember they were actually the largest uh, toy producing company in the world for, for a minute. I don't know how long it lasted, but they they surpassed Mert Mattel for being the uh, yeah the number one number one selling toy company in the world. Hard to believe that somebody beat Barbie. Now, one question is, is I'm doing this portrait because I love the picture. I think it's a great picture. Do I add the eye boogers in? Because we all know how well labs do with their eye boogers. Um, my dog's not full lab, but man, oh man, does he get some eye boogers.
Hey, I don't know if you're still watching me, Mercado, but could you let me know if the volume's all right? Uh, that was an issue I was having um, before one of my other friends told me that my volume wasn't uh, loud enough. He could barely hear me. So uh, I tried to uh, turn up the microphone volume. I hope it's the right thing I did. Um, but... I don't know because I don't have any way for uh, nobody has responded to me yet to tell me if my volume is all right. Sorry, just got a text message from somebody. Really what? Uh, I guess I'm talking to my brother here. He's watching me on live stream. Man, some of these shapes are just not even close. One sweet thing though is you can kind of follow the fur of this guy. Uh, and just based on the, the color of the shapes. Um, let's see if I can crank this guy up. Now, can you hear my volume? Uh, One of the sweet things about doing this dog is the the different colors of his fur really are nothing more than just the the bouncing of the light uh, through his fur off of his skin and the heavier darker spots just have to do with the fact that the light's just not getting uh, not getting to those areas. Giving you the uh, the blackness of the fur. Oh shoot! The spot's a lot smaller than I had initially put in here.
Sorry if I'm boring and no fun to watch. I uh, but I was just trying to paint here. Um I am struggling a little bit with the uh with the lagging of the uh the brush to the stroke. So I think I'm gonna have to uh hop off the live here and actually go to a uh just recording a video and yeah hopefully things will uh work out a little better then i'll just post the uh post the finished video a little later maybe try and get the live uh feed going back up um the closer i am to finishing just so you guys can see it if you want um even though there's only one person watching but thanks for tuning in and uh yeah check back here in uh here in a couple hours to uh see my progress um hopefully i should have the uh the other video done for